you also look at certain types of founders or do you have some ethos or philosophies on founders which is common? Why I'm asking this is for my audience to understand that if they have to discuss to a Sushma as an investor, what is she looking at that excites her? What are the things that she will go across and say is an absolute yes or maybe a yes? Mm -hmm. Because absolute yeses are very difficult. But what are more importantly the things which are an absolute no for Sushma? Mm -hmm. So tell us your journey all across Avishkar, sectors, aspects, learnings, everything. Absolutely. I'm happy, happy to share that. And you know, I didn't complete where I was coming from. When I joined, we were a $30 million. Yeah. Today, we are over a billion dollars. And not just in one business, which is the fund business. We have operating businesses, consulting businesses, N not just in India anymore. We also have a presence in Africa and South Asia. Very few fund managers have been able to do this. True. Right. So there is. And I've been lucky to work across with several things for you. Correct. Right. Across like with different team yeah, members, yeah. across different things. So that kind of, you know, the sense of you get a sense of purpose and that you built something meaningful. Right. And you're seeing the impact. And we are seeing the impact. And sometimes even you would see this for yourself when you're building something. No, you don't completely appreciate it yourself yeah. till someone from outside comes and tells me. Wow, you're doing great True. work, right? You need that yeah. validation. External from validation people. is important. No, no matter, no matter what you say. Yes. I agree. Right? We will always undermine ourselves. We will always take for Correct. granted what we have. We are very hard on ourselves. And when someone tells you, you sit back and say, really? Are they saying the right things? And for me, this first penny drop moment, as they say, was I was, uh, I was in some event in Amsterdam and uh, I had you go to events in Amsterdam. Yeah, and this was a one-off event. Yeah, man. One-off event, and, uh, See, and when you become an investor, these are the perks. No, no, just a one-off. <laughs> my my travel is only to Bikaner, to Banaras, to and I love these travels that I wish. Stop talking about your portfolios. Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, no. But uh, that moment was, you know, when someone had, and we had just finished uh, a big IPO, and you know, I I I'd done a big exit. So I was feeling happy about myself, but I didn't know what it meant in the overall scheme of things. And then when external investor came up and I said, hi, I'm Sushma from Avishkar Capital. And they said, of course we know Avishkar Capital. You guys are doing great work. We would love to work with you. And I was like, really? And so it was my first international trip. Mm. And when someone outside who I've not met comes up and tells me this, I was like, Hmm, maybe we are doing something right. You know, so those that validation, I think for everyone True. is required. True. Uh, no matter where you yeah, are, absolutely. right? And when you're a beginner, you want your seniors absolutely. to validate how you're doing. And as you grow, more internal, external validation Correct. is required. So I think that is very, very important hmm. aspect. When I came in, you know, with rosy glasses, thinking, oh, I want to do good. I want to change the world. Uh, to what it is now. Uh, obviously, I have evolved. My perspective has evolved, and the, the and the industry has evolved True. as well. And the expectations from this industry also has evolved. When we came in, when I came in, and you know, even looking at Avishka's first set of investments, they were looking at investing in good people, inherently good people who are doing good work for society, for you know, for uh, for the environment, and so on. So. When you look at them, they're like, yes, this makes sense. But you're also an investor. Yeah. You have a fiduciary responsibility Always. of returning money. Because you're, you're at the end of the day, a manager. You're managing third party capital. Correct. And in our first, first leg of our journey as impact investors, we were all hard, right? Like we would be in the trenches. We would be working with the founder, like as if right. we were part of their journey. Okay. We would go through their extended ups. founder team. Yes, yes, ups and downs. We would get emotional. Invested. Yeah, we were really invested, right? It's not just the money bit. Yeah. Uh, the in intangible. Their, they were family, right? If something went wrong there, we would feel bad, right? We would say, how do how do we make it uh, good for them? And um, but then that didn't yield the kind of returns we were hoping yeah. it would, right? It was good or not Some bad at all. Some were very good. Some were very yeah. good, right? Like, and you know, uh, Equitas went yeah, on yeah. to IPO, Credit Access Grameen was a great exit and so on. So, they, they were good also. 
I'm just saying what our takeaways were. So then we realized, hmm, maybe we need to sit back and look at what impact should mean hmm. as investors. Hmm. And that's when uh, we started looking that, okay, let's not uh, spray and pray, as they say Correct. today, uh, to say, okay, anything that's yeah, good yeah. is a good investment. No, we have to look at it for the merits of the returns as well. And so we identified three main sectors that called out to us saying, boss, we are impact and we can generate returns, which is one was financial inclusion, yeah. the ones that you stated. Second was agri. Uh, again, we know that it it, uh, it provides employment for a large portion True. of our population. We True. still have rural uh, you know, populations that have suddenly become aspirational. So there, there's a huge emerging opportunity. So agri became a big area. And third, what we call essential services, which is everything from ed tech, right. health, health tech, logistics and so on. So that's those are the three verticals that we identified. In those, we also said, you know, climate is in our in our new avatar, in our sixth fund that we're investing now, we realized that there are certain changes in the macros, in the environment that require you to focus on certain aspects even more. For example, climate and gender, True. right? The fact that you called out and said, boss, you're not as many women as you are, that's that's a sorry state yeah. of affairs, right? So then, and it's a fact. And it is a fact. And unless you call it out, nobody is going to talk about it. True. So then we said, maybe we should also start working on that. So climate and uh, gender have become our horizontal themes. In these three verticals, we have horizontals as well. So that those are the kind of sectors that we look at that solve for large problems. So we don't like if someone comes and says, I'm doing something incremental right. in the payment space. That won't excite yeah, that us. That won't excite you. We're like, good, great. I mean, there might be 100 yeah. other investors who will find that very exciting, but not us. Because it's, it's, it's maybe an enabler, it's not a disruptor. Correct. And Correct. you're looking at actual disruption in a tangible map yes. moment, which is the true form of impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm.